The Bay Diggers put together a three-play, 54-yard drive in 23 seconds. Eric Garcia finds C.J. Kukas from 35 yards out. Basically a 15-yard pattern, and Kukas escaped the defense up the right sideline, and nobody touched him on his way to the score. And it's 7-0 brushes. Cardenas will kick it off. The Bobcats have three deep. That might be Kyle Robodart, the deep man. And the football is grabbed at the 5 by Robodart, running to his right to the 10-yard line, spinning. He's taken down by a couple of bead diggers at the 15-yard line. And Tanner Morrow was the first bead digger in on special teams. Also down there was Ethan Brost. So the Bobcats have the football just outside their own 15-yard line officially. They'll mark it at the 16. And can they generate any offense? Brian Riley is the quarterback, a 6'1", 155-pound junior. Robodard is next to him, to his left, and a shotgun is Riley. First and 10 from the 16. And he's going to hand it off to Robodart, running right up the middle, and he has nothing. The middle of the beat digger line stops him at the line of scrimmage. Led by Ace Abbott, the senior gets the start. No huddle for Estes Park, second down and 10. Along that defensive line with Austin Acosta, Kyle Muir, Kyle Hefner, and Connor Weiser. Second down and 10 for the 16 under center. There's the pitch right to Robert Art to the outside of the 19-yard line. He did pick up close to three yards, and then he is driven back. Nice hard tackle over there by Tanner Morrow and Austin Acosta. Third down and seven to go for Estes Park. For all of your auto supply needs, stop by Central Auto Parts in Fort Morgan. Third down and seven for the 19. The Bee Diggers lead, seven to nothing. A minute and a half into the game on a 35-yard pass from Eric Garcia to C.J. Kukas under center. Third and seven, man in motion to the right. Play action, throw over the middle is incomplete. Off the right hand of the intended receiver at the 24-yard line. Sam Keller Twig, the senior, had the ball go off his right hand. A pass behind him from Brian Riley, fourth and seven. And Estes Park, as anticipated, goes three and out, and they will have to punt. Yeah, they've got these dark numbers on their jersey, so almost hard to see. Some of these players are Rosenbrock standing at the 50. Sam Keller Twig with a high short kick. Rosenbrock calls for a fair catch. No, he did not. He's going to catch it at the 44, then being driven back in Estes Park territory. He spun away, but he spun away for a loss of two to three yards. It's going to be at the Bobcat 47. That's where the Beat Diggers have possession with 10 11 to go in the opening quarter, leading by a touchdown. Do the bead diggers go to the air once again and work on that passing game? Pablo Gill is the outside receiver to the right. Now, Skyler Seawald is in that backfield along with Joe Rosenbrock. First and 10 for Brush. Garcia will go under center. Maybe no shotgun for the bead diggers tonight. And on first down, the give right up to Skyler Seawald. First down to the 35, up the middle to the 30, and he's down right there. It's a gain of close to 17 before he's upended by Keith Trahan, a freshman at 5'4", 120. Apparently his knee was down at the 33-yard line, but still a gain of 13, and a B-digger first down. That was just an easy play for the B-diggers. For great family entertainment, check out Fire Lanes, 220 Cambridge and Brush. Walk in or reserve your time in Lane at Fire Lanes today. First and 10 for the Bee Diggers at the Estes Park 33. Garcia's going to roll to his right. Wants to throw. Still rolling, still rolling, still rolling. He'll throw underneath. The pass is incomplete. Right through the hands of Pablo Gill at the 20 yard line. He was open. It was a little bit behind him, but it looked like it should have been caught. Second down and 10 for Brush. And the truth of the matter is that Garcia could have ran for the first down, but. Again, I think the objective is to work on that passing game. We've said that so many times this year, and that cannot be understated at this point. Weiser is in. Seawald will take a little bit of a break. The Bay Diggers expect to put in their JV by the second half, especially if they do on this drive and other drives, what they did on the first and score. Second and 10 for the Estes Park 33-yard line. 
trips to the right. The lone setback is Weiser. Play action. Garcia rolling to his right, setting up a screen to the left. Caught by Weiser at the 35. He breaks out of a tackle and spins, and he's down after a short gain to the 31. It's a gain of only two. Third down and eight. The tackle was made by Frankie Keller-Twig. He's only a freshman. Now do the big diggers go to the ground game. And they want to work on things, but they also want to get out to a big lead. The outside receiver to the right is Albo. The backs are split. That would be Seawald along with Rosenbrock on third and eight from the 31. Garcia hands off left side. Seawald first down to the 20. He stumbles out of a tackle inside the 15, down at the 13. It's a gain of 18 for Skyder Seawald. And a brush B digger first down running off left tackle. And Seawald has 31 yards on two carries to begin this game. And yeah, if the pass doesn't work for the beat diggers, they can just go to their bread and butter. Tanner Morrow is back into the game. From the 13-yard line, nine minutes to go in the opening quarter. Brush leads 7-0 on a 35-yard pass from Eric Garcia to C.J. Kukas. Two receivers split each side. On first and ten for the 13, in motion to the right is Morrow. He's got the handoff on the end around. Plenty of room to the 10. Right side line five. He's into the end zone for an easy touchdown. He was untouched from 13 yards away, running left to right and having the entire sideline to work with. And Brush leads 13 to nothing. And the Bay Diggers were very efficient once again, not taking up too much time. Only a minute 26 on that five-play drive. And now the extra point to be attempted by J.C. once again. Off the hold of Garcia, perfect snap. The kick is up, and that one, is it inside the right right upright? It is. Extra point is good, 14-0. Brush leads Estes Park on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.